In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the active buzzer. These buzzers, the active in the past, tend to come in component kits pretty often. So you probably have one of these if you have a component kit. So you can see a plus on top. There's also a plus on top for the passive. But uh, the active, we have epoxy in the back right there. So we're going to put that back in the circuit. And I have a switch in series with it. You don't need a switch. You can directly apply uh, it looks like 5 volts because I typically see them in kits where 5 volts is the uh, main power. But in uh, any case, you just put a voltage across it and it does the rest. It passes current needed to buzz. So we have the passive here. It has a plus, which isn't showing up as good. But there's no epoxy on back. And the uh, two pins down there have a plus and a minus. But in any case, if it's an active buzzer, again, all you have to do is apply a voltage across it and it buzzes. I'll do it really quick because it's a loud screech right there and uh, the switch was also coming out of the board there you could hear it it just buzzed so that's all you gotta do apply the voltage we can take a look at how much uh, current we got passing through and actually I lowered it to uh, 4 volts I forgot about that and uh, I think it's not quite as loud maybe at 4 volts let's try a 3 see if it still buzzes at 3 and it does and it seems a, a little less loud, but uh, we should be good at the 5 as well, right there. And uh, it doesn't let as much current through as I thought it did. I give it uh, 1 amp, just in case. Also, it may be uh, fluctuating how much current uh, flows through, and uh, so it may not be as accurate reading. There's better ways to measure this. So now, if you accidentally grab a passive buzzer, then uh, we'll put the, this one in. We're still going to put the plus to uh, the more positive side up there and then the minus down to the jumper so you may not be able to hear this but there's that clicking there that's uh, indication you got a passive buzzer there instead of the active one clicks right when you press the switch and it's kind of losing connection that's why you kind of hear a little screeching noise the passive buzzer needs a, a changing voltage to get it to buzz so any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.